Greetings everyone. This is a video to offer some instruction as to how to approach the first part, part one, of the Beck Hire writing test. Now as we know, uh, in this part of the test, you are expected to describe visual information, a graph or a diagram or a chart. Now in this case, we have a bar chart which shows the pr purchase price of three different software packages, the training costs of those packages, and the estimated annual saving to the company of purchasing these software packages. What is our task? Well, using the information from the chart, write a short report comparing the costs and estimated savings for each software package. Again, <clears throat> this part of the writing exam is worth one third of your overall mark, given that the word count is rather low. <clears throat> the point here is to try to be concise and keep your writing um, simple, straightforward, and um, to the point. Okay, let's take a look at the info. We have three packages, Alpha, Indigo, and XN. And as the colored codes indicate, we are comparing the price of each package, uh, the training costs to bring staff up to speed uh, on each software package, and then the estimated savings you know, over the long term of using each package. Well, let's take a look at our sample answer here. Of the three software packages, Alpha, Indigo, and XN, the latter is the most expensive to buy initially at $12,000. Okay, what is the latter? Well, that's some excellent vocabulary, which um, means the last genoemd, or the last one mentioned, in this case, XN. So it's the most expensive to buy. Where's the price? There we go, in blue. And as we see, compared to the other two, indeed the price is most expensive at $12,000. <clears> the estimated annual savings are only $16,000, lower than those expected from the Alpha package. However, the training costs are at the mid-level at around $3,000. So what the author has done is to first uh, describe the XN package, comparing the uh, price, the training costs, and the, and the long-term saving uh, to the other two. Now in the second paragraph, the author compares or presents the Indigo package. By comparison, the Indigo package is the cheapest to buy at $8,000, with the lowest training costs of only $2,000. So again, we're presenting this information. Um, $8,000, training costs at $2,000, and, however, the estimated annual savings are also lower than the other two packages at $14,000. Okay, so what we see here is a nice comparison between um, the Indigo, the Alpha, and the XN. <clears throat> In the last paragraph, the package which offers the highest estimated savings is Alpha, which expects to see savings of $20,000 with an initial investment of $10,000 for the purchase and $5,000 for the training. So again, the author has first presented this package in paragraph one, presented then the indigo package in paragraph two, and the alpha package in paragraph three. In conclusion, it would therefore seem that the alpha package offers the best investment for the company. Now this uh, sample answer finishes at 129 words, again, nicely within the word count. As you see, it's well organized. We have information, 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 conclusion, or recommendation. Um, you are welcome to 
use subheadings. For example, here you could have a subheading um, XN, indigo, alpha, conclusions. Uh, that does help the organization of your writing. And what you also see uh, in this sample answer is uh, some nice vocabulary, the latter, which means the last one mentioned. Some nice linking words, however, by comparison, in conclusion. And you also see that the um, sentence structure is varied. So it's not repetitive. It does not read in a boring uh, manner. <clears throat> but you have a variety of Zin's Opau sentence structure here, which makes this uh, a very good sample answer. Okay, hopefully that helps um, so that you can practice a bit with some of the uh, homework and uh, sample questions you will be given.